friends, assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Noor's Garan Kitchen. You can see that what I'm making today. I'm making a bitter god, karela, kadwa kadwa karela, bitter 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 god. So I, I'm start making this. So I just uh, peel them a little bit, not too much. I kept one to show you how to peel this. I just uh, peel a little bit, not a whole lot of it, because we are gonna use these peelings too. So we're gonna keep this, save these peelings, and we're gonna make these peelings also, we're gonna use in the cooking, in the stuffing. So we are making bharwa karela, stuff karela. We are stuffing with the onions, and a little bit of basin, chickpeas flour. So we're gonna stuff that with it. So there's a lot of requ uh, request from for this dish. So I am making it today, finally. Uh, me and my husband likes this a lot. We eat a lot, different ways. I cook with the chana dal. I cook, just fry them. Then after we are done that peeling, I can just cut it in the middle. See, the seeds are very tender, soft. So we're gonna use these seeds also in the stuffing, okay? We're just gonna remove it like this, all the stuffing, it's uh, all the seeds. See, uh, we can test and see if the seeds are tender. If you cut this like this, it's gonna be, if it's tender, you can see that, you will cut it like this, okay? See, the seeds are not hard. If they're hard, you cannot cut it like this. So this is done. So we will be doing rest of them. Bharva Karela. Better gods. I think a um, lot of people say that when they're cooking this dish, oh, when I cook, there's not bitter at all. Anybody can eat it. Even the children can eat it. That's a lie. <laughs> because bitter god karela is always bitter it doesn't matter how much you wash it doesn't matter how how much you try to remove this bitterness you can probably reduce a little bit but if they say it's completely is gone it's never gonna go uh, it's still gonna be bitter but why do we eat this uh, it has a lot of health benefits it clears your blood it purifies your blood and also is good for the diabetes even they're selling karela tablets these days bitter melon uh, bitter god bitter melon whatever you call is uh, they're selling the tablets for the diabetes the, they're saying it's, a, it's good for the diabetes people so a lot of people are buying the tablets and taking it some oh you can grow this easily I I planted one ear I, I found one of the red seeds in there the kind of red that's I thought maybe I can just throw it in my yard I throw it in my yard and so many plants came up since then is all my fences always full up and now they're gonna start coming up very soon in probably in the month of May they'll start coming up they like warmer weather they like when the temperature is warm I think they're, they're gonna start sprouting. They don't sprout like if the temperature is like a 50 degrees, 40 degrees. They'll start sprouting when the temperature goes in 60 degrees, or above 60 degrees, yeah. The, I think most of the seeds will sprout when the temperature is above 60 degrees. So, I will start doing a lot of gardening. So I'm gonna be start recording this year, a lot of uh, gardening videos because last year, I wanted to do it but um, my husband was very 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 sick so we were in the hospital all the time but this is the this one is hard I'm not gonna use these seeds I'm gonna throw it in the trash so I might get some plants of with the seeds okay you don't even have to plant them you just throw them in the yard they'll come up in my compost pile I get all kind of plants I get cucumbers, tomatoes, pepper, eggplants sometimes, There's a lot of kind of vegetables and avocados. Okay, 
we're just gonna wash uh, we're not gonna wash it first we're just gonna put it in there and I have I mix some salt and turmeric in there haldi and namak you put it generously on it okay and also in this peelings okay chilko maybe dollars ko so we're gonna mix this very good with the hands leave it for half an hour so it's gonna go with a little bit of bitterness then you can wash it and use it in there okay now also this I'm going to really really put that salt in there so it's had a salt and the turmeric so there's a lot of salt it's going to start releasing some water after that we're going to steam this then we're going to cook this stuffing and step it we also stuff with a I also stuff with a keema ground meat and also we stuff with the um, potatoes also I make with the chana dal and a lot of tomatoes that's also good a lot of onions and a lot of tomatoes and chana dal I'll give some recipes later but um, one take this one first there's a lot of people are asking about the karela recipes because uh, a lot of gardeners master gardeners garden club their people are also growing these bitter melons and uh, they don't know what to do how to eat them so I think that's why I'm gonna start showing to them also the moringa drumstick also a lot of people are growing their leaves and they're, they're eating leaves in the salads and stuff I might have to give them a couple of dishes um, to how to make moringa okay we're gonna leave this for half an hour okay let's see rest of the uh, spices what we needed okay um, we'll keep this away from here and I do have some onions if you put a lot of onions it's gonna be make a little bit sweeter your dish and you're not gonna feel that bitter so that's one of the trick you can do that and I have one whole uh, uh, onion chopped and I have uh, seven to eight cloves of garlic chopped and I have one green pepper chopped and I have some cilantro and for the dry spices I have this um, Cumin, cumin seeds and uh, coriander seeds and have some funnel seeds that funnel seeds really gives very good taste in the karelas and most of the karela dishes I put funnel seeds okay and we are gonna roast this all these three masalas and we are gonna grind this coarsely not very soft okay then we have over here pinch of ajwain carom seeds quarter spoon of uh, Carom seeds and quarter spoon of uh, kalonji is uh, black seeds and that has a lot of health benefits too and this is the salt uh, one spoon I um, have some salt in there I'm gonna wash that though so I have like a spoon and a half uh, red pepper and uh, turmeric half a spoon and have two spoons full of uh, mango powder because it's gonna give a little sourness to the dish is onion is gonna give some little sweetness and this is gonna be sourness It's gonna be a little bit of sweetie and soury dish and then have some basin I'm gonna add this basin chickpeas flour, okay? Okay, um, let's go first roast this sp whole spices and we're gonna grind that, okay? Okay, we're gonna add coriander seeds first they're gonna take a little longer to do it dry them okay then we're gonna add cuban seeds and funnel seeds let's close this Okay, they're done. So we don't want to burn them. They are roasted. So 
we are going to grind this once it cools down okay let it cool down okay it's been a half an hour so let's see if our perilla is we need to wash our perilla and this uh, peelings so i think it's already have so much water in there see it's releasing the water uh, i'm gonna go ahead and still uh, wash it for some water so there's a lot of salt in there it has to salt has to come out so i'm gonna wash it Gonna reduce the bitterness a little bit, not like a completely is gone, but uh, it's a little bit reduced. Okay. okay, see, I'm gonna let it drain all the water from here. So I'm gonna squeeze all the water. And we're also gonna pour water in here because this one is also have a lot of water in there. If you can see, see, so water is leaking. See, so much water because it's already this karela comes in different variety, different colors. Some karelas are white, some of them light green, some of them very dark green. These are dark green. The dark greens are a little bit more bitter, but they're tender. Uh, light green is less bitter, but they're hard when you cook them. Uh, the dish is not going to taste good at all. So some of the Chinese bitter gods are very, very light colored, and they um, they were not. Um, they don't cook really good. I tried them, but they're hard. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this for the steamer and steam it for 10 minutes. Okay, let's squeeze all the water and I'm gonna put it in the steamer. The steamer is getting hot, the water is getting hot in the steamer. So I'm gonna put this in the steamer. They're very tender. I can see that right here is already breaking so with the salt. So I'm going to be not gonna put it 10 minutes probably. I'm gonna put it like a six minutes and see. Like five minutes is also enough. Okay. Okay. This is my steamer. Uh, I put everything in the steamer. Now the water is in there, it's boiling. So I'm gonna cover it for five minutes because they're very very tender they're not very hard okay okay friends we'll be making stuffing while the karelas is boiling we'll put a couple of spoons of oil in there okay we'll put the kalonji Carom seeds in there. Okay. Then we are going to put some garlic, chopped garlic. good already so we'll this oops green pepper and then onions okay the seeds I just uh, coarsely grinded this so the seed mix the pulp and the seeds whatever was in there and then you're gonna mix this peeling peeling 
okay now we are gonna add rest of the ingredients all the dry spices mango powder turmeric pepper salt this all goes in there and also the dry spices uh, the whole spices what we grind it coriander cumin and funnel seeds powder that goes in there mm, smells so good now our basin goes in there chickpeas flour so we are gonna cook until the basin gets cooked Five minutes at least okay this is ready and I'm gonna turn the stove off and let it cool down and also my karelas are also ready I have to let them cool down so I can handle with my hands my hands don't burn there's some cilantro because my son don't eat <laughs> karela so I can add as much as cilantro I want it's cilantro. So, okay. Okay, this is all. I'm gonna make put it over here so it cools down. And also, our parellas are boiling over there on that stove. I'm gonna turn that one off too. Okay, I'm using a toothpick to see. If it's tender, it's been Oops, hot. So, yep, it's done. Okay, I'm gonna turn the stove off this one too. And I'm gonna make it gonna wait until both of them get cooled down because I'm gonna take this in the plate. Okay, uh, our karelas are cold and also um, stuffing is cold, so I'm going to be. Putting these things in the back and then we'll stuff all the stuffing in there. Okay. Stuff it with generously, okay? So it won't come out. Push it down properly. won't come out when we are frying we can put the toothpick or maybe we can tie with the thread okay um, our oil is hot I put it like a couple of spoons of oil and uh, you can put the toothpicks like that so the spices don't come out masala will stay inside just take the Toothpicks and put it in there. Okay, uh, we'll turn them back and forth on every all sides. You're gonna fry them. You might have to move a little bit of toothpick when you're frying the other side. <laughs> Okay. Make it stand up by this side and another side. Okay, now our karela is going to fry from every side. They look delicious, they look good. And I have some more masala left, so I'm just going to pour it on top of it. So, just like that. Okay. Okay, let's go put it in the plate and see. Okay friends, so stuffed bitter melon is ready to eat and uh, stuffed karela, bharwa karela is ready to eat. Uh, try it, it's not that bad, uh, it's not going to be that bitter. Once you develop the taste, you're going to like it. So if you like my recipes, 
please click like share with your family and friends and please subscribe okay bye see you next video